everyone, so today I want to talk about the 2009 film Confessions of a Shopaholic and this was requested by Grilly Guy. The correct YouTube link will be in the below bar to their channel. Um, so thank you for requesting this. I honestly didn't think I was going to enjoy this. It's, it's quite a well received film. A lot of people have seen it. A lot of people have loved it. You may have seen it. You may have loved it. I just thought, not going to be for me. Having watched it, I can now say this is exactly for me. This is exactly the type of film that speaks to me. Um, so I'll explain why it speaks to me once I've briefly went over the plot. So Rebecca Bloomwood is a shopaholic. She cannot walk past a store without going in and spending an excessive amount of money on things she doesn't need. And it is shopaholic as in fashion, clothes, we're not talking like bookstores or anything like that. And that it kind of is appropriate because that's part of part of the plot is that she's a shopaholic, she's in a lot of debt and a lot of trouble. The other part is that she wants to make it as a fashion journalist. She is a journalist and she's been a journalist for I think five years is the time that was given. But she's not a journalist in the fashion industry, she's just a journalist on another, on another publication. And obviously the two come together and she wants to make it as a fashion journalist and to do that she needs to look good and that's part of the reason why she's in a lot of debt. And so is she going to make it into the fashion world? What is going to happen? She does do quite a lot of career progression through it but not necessarily in the industry or the sector that you think she would which to me is fascinating and it's kind of is she going to get out of debt how, how, what's going to happen is she going to land the dream job and you know is this dream job going to solve the problems it's not as straightforward as what you think and there was quite a few surprises along the way which i didn't expect to happen if you read the synopsis or listen to my waffling about it and think right i know how this is going to happen Chances are you don't. It's it's very surprising and not what I expected. I'm not going to say what I would have expected to happen because I don't want to tell you that that's not what happens. But it's very interesting. Speak to me on two levels. First one, money. Crikey. I'm not a shopaholic in that sense, but I'm really bad with money. I really am. If I have money, if I have a lot of money, like if I won a million pounds on the lottery, if I put the lottery on, who knows, if I won a million pound, I probably wouldn't spend it for ages. But if I have ten pound, I think, well, it's only ten pound. I haven't got much more. I'm not losing much. Go and spend it. So it, it does kind of hit home in that sense. And I will I will not lie and say that at one point in the film, I did actually cry just because I'm thinking that's, I, I can relate to that. And it's a horrible situation to be in. I'm not in debt. I'm not like that. But I can understand the whole irresponsibility, I guess, if you like, with money. The second thing is obviously the whole journalism thing, so that aspect of it I loved. It is quite educational, you do learn quite a lot, and it's very insightful, very fascinating, and because it's not just about fashion journalism, but various different um, types of journalism, that makes it all the more interesting and all the more fascinating, and something I found quite quite compelling. So it is absolutely fantastic, the cast is brilliant, um, Isa Fisher plays Rebecca. I'd seen her in def Definitely Maybe, but I couldn't really remember her to be honest, because it was what, six years ago, seven years ago, maybe quite a long time ago, maybe four. Anyway, yes, yeah, she was great in that, but Hugh Dancy plays Luke. Luke is the love interest, and oh my goodness, I've never seen such a cute actor in all my life. Maybe David Tennant aside, but he is beautiful. Uh, when he came on, I was like, I don't know who that is, but I love him. <laughs> he's, he's very pretty, so he always brings in that nice element as well. Obviously the film is based on the Sophie Kinsella book by the same title. I haven't read that and I will not be reading it. I don't like reading things that I've watched. But I don't mind watching things that I've read. That's fine. Um, and part of the screenplay was written by Tim Firth, which was great. So that was really quite exciting to learn that. It's an absolutely fantastic film. The plot development is great. There are so many surprises. Um, I now cannot get the name Derek Smith out of my head. For various reasons, you'll uh, watch that and find out why. It's just sensational and really doesn't doesn't do what I thought it was going to do. It's so much better. The actual plot itself is much deeper than I expected it to be. The way it develops, completely different. Cast, character is fantastic. I think what makes it slightly different is that the character um, of Rebecca is so much more relatable than a lot of characters in similar based films. So it, it's absolutely sensational from start to finish. Loved it a lot more than I thought I was going to do. Um, thank you to the person who requested this. As I said, your YouTube will be in the below bar. Any more requests or suggestions for films or TV shows, let me know. If that's it for just now, let me know your thoughts on Confessions of a Shopaholic. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.